Hello, I'm John Paul and I'm here at Rimmer Brothers today to check and adjust and pump up the hydroelastic suspension on this MGF. Over time the suspension does go down on these cars and as you can see this one looks low. It should be 360mm from the centre of the wheel to the lower part of the wheel arch. This one's about 315 It alters the track in, it makes a hard ride. So we're going to pump this suspension up today and we're starting under the front bonnet. The first thing we're going to do is remove this black plastic cover from underneath the bonnet cover. So it's a couple of little nuts either side, a screw this side, two catches underneath, then you can just get it out of the way. These are the two parts going to be working with. We've got little shader valves on, that's what we'll be using to pump up the suspension with. And there's two parts, one either side of the vehicle. So one does offside front and rear wheel, one does the near side front and rear wheel. So we're going to do the offside one first. So we'll just remove the black plastic cap of the Schrader valve. Then we're going to attach a pumping up tool. I'm going to show you that in a moment. This is our hydroelastic pump. You've got the connection that goes onto the Schrader valve. So you screw it onto the outside of the Schrader valve. Make sure the valve is closed on the unit. Then you screw in the centre, which pushes down the middle of the Schrader valve, which opens that valve. This valve on the unit is closed, and that holds that pressure. And as soon as you open this valve, all the pressure is held in the unit. And then you can use the handle to pump up the suspension, watching the pressure gauge, and measuring the suspension at the same time. Now we're going to connect our union onto the Schrader valve. Let's screw it down. Tighten it up with your spanner and screw down the centre to open the Schrader valve. You'll hear it hit into the pipe. Then we undo our valve on the unit and we're ready to pump up. Now we're going to pump the unit, keep an eye on our pressure gauge, we want to get to about 450 psi and then we're going to check the height of the, uh, of the car in between the centre of the wheel and the lower wheel arch. It wants to be about 360 mils. This is the gap we're measuring between the centre of the wheel and the lower wheel arch. So we've got a tape measure, put it, and we are about at 360 mil, give or take a couple. So I think that's about good. We're going to do the other side now. To release the pipe, undo the centre screw thread so it shuts the trader valve in that pipe. You then, on the unit itself, you turn the valve to open it just to release the pressure in this pipe so when you undo the main union it doesn't squirt fluid all over the place and then we're going to connect to the other side. I've now connected the unit to the other side, so we're going to pump up that side suspension. Once that's measured in the same height as this, about 360 mils, we're pretty much that's the job done. Now before we started, we just put two and a half litres of fluid into the machine and that's plenty for just pumping up uh, um, uh, just a half flat car. 